Iceland. Some of us may have heard about all the beauty this country has to offer, and some may not. For those who are interested in visiting Iceland, here is the itinerary I came up with for our trip. We flew on Iceland Air from Newark on a non-stop flight to Keflavik Airport in Iceland. One of the really nice things about Iceland is that all of the people we met spoke great English, they did not hesitate to help, and all the establishments we went to had free Wi-Fi with strong signal. We rented our vehicle from Lagoon Car Rental as they offered free pickup and drop off at the airport and they had newer vehicles, which was important to us due to the highly unpredictable weather in Iceland. They had four-wheel drive with manual transmission. This was again due to the road conditions and F1 roads that would only allow four-wheel drive vehicles. We chose a Kadjar small SUV due to its fuel efficiency, larger luggage space, manual transmission, and was less expensive than the automatic counterpart. The first on our itinerary was the Blue Lagoon, approximately 12 miles from Keflavik Airport and is one of the most visited attractions in Iceland. It's a geothermal spa located in a lava field. Purchase of the basic comfort package allowed entrance into the spa and included a towel, silica face mask, and shower with full amenities. The place was ultra chic and modern with beautiful facilities. It really is a must do when in Iceland, in our opinion. Yes, it feels good to get in the water. On day one, we stayed in an apartment in the town of Kopao, which was about 40 minutes from Keflavik Airport, closer to Reykjavik, the capital and largest city of Iceland. Also, this town was only a 10-minute drive from Blue Lagoon. The apartment was beautifully appointed with modern fixtures. Large windows accentuated the gorgeous views of the mountains surrounding the area and even had free access to three washers and dryers with complimentary laundry soap. There was a bonus supermarket across the street, which was so convenient and helped us save money since we were able to cook our food in our own full kitchen. It was a place called Pure Deli and it was pure deliciousness. It was right across the parking lot of Blue Mountain Apartments. They had such great flavors and their desserts were incredible. On day two, we went to the site of the abandoned US Navy DC plane wreck. It's one of Iceland's most iconic and haunting photography locations. Everyone survived the crash, so it's not as eerie to be on the plane. It was about a two-hour drive from the city, and it takes about a 45-minute to one-hour hike each way. Be prepared for changes in weather. Rain, cold, very strong high winds, sandstorm, and even sleet. Then sunshine, lots of it. Be prepared and use the bathroom before you reach the parking area, because there are no bathrooms close by. Close to the area is Dirvulae Rock Arch, but we ran out of time so we didn't go. On day 3, we went to Yukulsarlon Glacier Lagoon, where we booked a boat tour to get closer to the glaciers in the water. It was a very exciting experience, since everything was so grand and beautiful. About a 5 minute walk from there was the Diamond Beach where you can see ice chipped off the glaciers that float from the lagoon, then get washed back up to the shore on the black sand. Then we headed to Svartifoss Waterfall in Skaftafell National Park. It took about 40 to 45 minutes of climbing to get to the falls each way, but it was definitely worth it. I'm just glad I brought my hiking poles and wore my warm hiking boots. That was just the first five minutes with 
got 40 minutes to go of this. But it was worth it. Worth it. On days two and three, we stayed at Hotel Gearland. These were small log cabins or cottages with bunk beds, kitchen, free breakfast, and mountain views. They also had a restaurant that was fantastic and not crazy expensive. On day four, we checked out of Hotel Gearland, and then we saw this beautiful three-tiered waterfall just down the road from the hotel. No one else was there, so we had the place to ourselves. The Fjatrarvur is a canyon in southeast Iceland. The Fjatra River flows through it. The canyon has steep walls and winding water. It is up to 330 feet deep and about 1.2 miles long. Its origins date back to the cold periods of the Ice Age about 2 million years ago. A waterfall flows down the western side of the canyon visible from an observation platform at the end of a one-mile hike up the eastern edge. Reynes Fiara Black Sand Beach is located on the south coast of Iceland near the town of Vík. It's famous for its enormous columns of basalt and massive waves crashing into the shore. Reynes Fiara Black Sand Beach has been picked as one of the most beautiful beaches in the world but it's also one of the most dangerous tourist attractions in Iceland. Three people have drowned in the past 10 years at the beach after powerful sneaker waves knocked them down, sweeping them out to sea. On day five, we went to Seljalandsfoss. This is very popular among tour groups, so we decided to go early to beat the crowd. Next, we went to Skogafoss Waterfalls. It is a tall and powerful waterfall, simply amazing in its magnitude that you can see up close. This waterfall was a location for the filming of the movie Thor, The Dark World, The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, and the TV series Vikings. This place is an actual greenhouse and restaurant where they serve the freshest, most delicious tomato soup I have ever had. Their homemade bread was delicious, the butter was so creamy, they had a basil plant on the table so you can add fresh basil to your soup, and the pasta as well as mussels were superb. It was a very exciting and delicious dining experience. This place is a must when in Iceland, in my book. Baby tomato plants. Mm, baby tomato plants. Oh my god. <gasps> I thought it was <laughs> there's still glass. Oh my goodness, that is so cool. After that, we went to Gulfoss Waterfalls, the most massive falls out of the five that we saw. It was pretty amazing with the sun starting to set in the background. It was magnificent and breathtaking. Then, before the day ended on day 5, we went to Geyser, which is where the term geyser comes from. The big one went off every 5 minutes or so, which was so fun to watch, and the sunset in the background made it more beautiful. We stayed at Lindarton Guest House. 
which offered free breakfast that was excellent and a kitchen that guests can use. The room and bathroom were beautiful, the bed was comfortable, and the place was like walking into an IKEA showroom. The house is located on a farm with quiet and serene surroundings. It was a great experience. On day six, we traveled to West Iceland, to the Snæfellsnes Peninsula, to see Kirkjufell's Mountain. This place was made famous by the TV series Game of Thrones, but also because it is such a photogenic scenery. Definitely worth a visit. Then we went to the sea cliffs. These are volcanic blocks of basalt and are remnants from a bigger crater which has mostly eroded away. It's a picturesque place and a great venue to see the sunset. On day 7, we went to snorkel Silfra, a fissure on top of tectonic plates of two continents, namely Europe and North America. We went on a guided tour with the company Adventure Vikings. The guides Prentice and Heimer were so helpful, kind, and funny. I highly recommend this experience with this company. Be prepared to be very cold around the face, hands, and feet, although the body stayed insulated. The water in Silfra is dubbed as the clearest water in the world. Melt water from the second largest glacier in Iceland travels 50 kilometers or so through the lava, a journey that takes between 30 to 100 years, and wells up from an underground spring directly into Silfra. The water is fed by glaciers and keeps to a temperature of about 34 degrees Fahrenheit all year round. This is a one-of-a-kind experience that we highly recommend. We went to a local dairy farm that is popular for their ice cream. It was a neat experience since you can see the cows on the other side through glass windows. It was disappointing though since they did not have chocolate flavor, so that was a bummer for me, but I still enjoyed the experience. Then we went to the Secret Lagoon, a natural geothermal pool that is popular among locals and tourists alike. It costs around 27 US dollars, three times less than the Blue Lagoon. A natural hot spring feeds the lagoon, constantly replenishing itself so that there is a steady supply of fresh, clean water in the pool at any given time. The steam rising from the surrounding natural geothermal hot springs around the pool make the place seem enchanting. Since it was our last night, we decided to drive to Reykjavik to experience the city and its nightlife. We headed to the Lebowski bar where we had our local beer from Gaul. One of my favorite foods in Iceland, the Icelandic hot dog from local gas stations. It comes highly recommended. The Hakrinskrikja is situated on a hilltop near the center of Reykjavik. The church is one of the city's best-known landmarks and is visible throughout the city. This wraps up the video of our trip to Iceland. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. We hope that this helps you in planning your trip and hope that you have a fantastic time in amazing Iceland. Thanks for watching.